Anyways, okay, so last stream, killed two bosses. We killed two bosses last stream, and we did a couple, like, smaller bosses. We found the big snake, we got the snake fruit or whatever, serpent fruit. Um, and so after the stream, I ended up playing a little bit last night and a little bit this morning. Mostly just going around, doing kind of, like, exploring around, seeing if I miss stuff. And what I ended up finding, or rather kind of doing up was there was one like quest line that I decided to try which involved uh, uh, ta Tengu I forget what his actual name is but he's like uh, I was initially suspicious of him because he's like let's go kill rats quotation fingers I'm like uh oh that sounds this sounds like a bad uh, covenant so I didn't join it initially but now that I know that this game doesn't really have covenants I was like I should probably go in and check in and see what that's about um so I end up doing that up, and you end up getting another skill set. You end up getting uh, the Ashina, or Ashina? Ashina? I don't know why I can't pronounce that right now. Um, arts? Be nice to rats. Um, this is like rats, quotation fingers, it's not actual rats. Um, but you end up getting this, and I don't know if it's coming through on the stream, but like these skills are extremely good. They're all basically things that improve your ability to deflect and deal poise damage or posture, posture damage. Um, so they're all like really, really, really good skills. So it's definitely improved my ability to like, you crush people's like defenses like way easier now. Um, so it kind of makes sense that it's like, oh, I should have had that like skill set earlier in the game, and it would have made sense for a few sections. Um, but, you know, uh, so I learned a few of those skills. Of course, they were relatively cheap starting out. Um, but overall, I think that... Um, so I did a little bit of that up, and I also did a little bit of exploring around, just like collecting materials. So I upgraded my weapons a little bit, so... Uh, Actually, my weapon weapon selection is in pretty good shape right now. My prosthetic tools. Uh, I have almost all of them up to the third or fourth bracket of stuff. And a few... Actually, I guess just like this, these ones here. Up to this bracket. And I have quite a few of them opened up. So these weren't actually that hard to upgrade. Like when you just like start going around like... You know, just fighting guys. You build up materials really fast. Um, also, Demon Bell. Demon Bell's really good. Um, like, when you ring that thing, I don't find the enemies that much harder, but they give way better rewards. So, it's, I think it's worth it. So, anyways, um, let me see. So, one thing I'm gonna do here is, I have a pretty good feeling, um, I know a thing I may have missed. Oh, yeah. Um, so last stream we also got the Mortal Blade, which is a second sword that is basically used to kill immortal creatures. So any anything that can revive itself, you can instantly like kill once you've killed it once. Um, so that's something that... Uh, but using that blade costs you um, energy. So I actually found... Uh, there was the old woman I was giving the rice to found out that she um uh she's in a second spot rather and i knew she was in a second spot but i wanted to like check it out and see what was up with that and so i found out from her that what i need to do is i need to use this because she tells you about this kite basically put this curse on this guy, and he's gonna unwind this kite for us, I think. Good. So the kite's gonna be sent out, and we'll be able to utilize that. Honestly, if you give the, like, old lady that's asking for rice, if you give her rice, she gives you really good, like, hints and tips, so... <laughs> Weep sword. <laughs> it is the sword I use to kill weebs, you're right. Okay, so 
I just want to try and like do whatever this little section is up here first. So we have to go around and get to where where we run into her, which is just on the other side of this temple. Uh, I'm gonna switch this back because I think I think I generally like blood smoke more. Uh, the puppeteer one is extremely good though. Like I think the puppeteer one might actually be like way better, but I just think the blood smoke thing is really cool. Beat your tongue earlier. Ugh, I hate biting my tongue or my cheek. Nothing, nothing like, well, it's just like, it's like 0 to 60 anger in like a split second. It's so bad. Hate it. I'm just gonna like, wait for these guys to go around the corner here. But, anyway, so I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe, maybe in an hour or two I'll feel more like doing web stream, or webcam stream. Codecast, I guess, as it's being called. didn't do that right. Ooh, whoa, whoa, angles. Oh. oh, oh, oh my goodness, wow, I died almost immediately. That was terrible. You know what happens is because sometimes you're moving your thumb off of the movement stick, like move, you're moving your uh, thumb off the left stick. Uh, you end up doing a dash in neutral, which just sends you forward, which is kind of what I did there. Because I was moving my thumb off the stick because I want to heal. There we go. Which ends up uh, happening a fair amount in this game, so I have to be very careful about that. There's a lot of guys. Well, I mean, like, I'm glad I'm glad people are enjoying just like my webcam relate. Oh shit, there was two guys there. I didn't even see the other guy. Webcam related stuff, which is good, but it's also something that like, it's just. Oh, oh, we got turned around there. It's not good. Slow an uptake there. Jeez, this whole section is just like killing me. Ah, oh, fucker. Alright. Jeez, I'm doing so bad right now. Ugh, oh, shit. See, like, if you get hit by the first hit, like, the second hit actually is a true combo. You can't just deflect it. <laughs> oh, missed it. That's one of the new techniques I learned. Ugh, oh, I see. Yeah, if you're tasting iron, it means it's still bleeding, unfortunately. <laughs> Ugh. But, anyways, I mean, like, on the plus side, like, I'm glad that, like, people are into, like, Codecast stream, which is great. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know if that's, like, what I should officially call it. Maybe it is. It is pretty good name. It is a good name. But, uh, when I originally started streaming, I never thought I'd actually use webcam. <laughs> Like, to me, like, Keed, Keed, for example, has a good presence on camera, and, like, uh, other people I know have a good presence on camera, Commiserating has a pr good presence on camera. I just, I feel super awkward. I don't know. 
And I guess like part of it too is of course like with Dysphoria, it makes you very very picky about um, cameras <laughs> in particular. Oh, you have you have a big dog. Nikki is a big dog. So I also learned this overhead slash, oh, overhead slash, which is pretty good because it, there we go. It, uh, this is one of the, from one of the new like uh, skill tree things. So this overhead slash is really cool because what it does is not only do you step in and do this cool ass overhead swing, when you do the step, uh, you'll actually recover posture. Um, based on how long you charge it. So it's actually really good because it's it's good defensively and I know it's really sharp. Uh, and it generally does really good damage on hit. I notice a lot of enemies will not block it, so... Okay, so she... Yeah, pressure you want. Fly, fly kite, win, win the puppet, fly, fly kite. Yeah. So, is the kite out? Yep, there it is. I don't know how I'll reach that, but... That seems really far away. That seems really, really far away. Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. I didn't even know you could go up here. I guess I never had to, like, look up this way, because... I wish there was a, a point here that was like a little closer. I kind of spent like a lot of energy <laughs> just getting here, which is funny because like this isn't really that bad of a section typically. <laughs> I wonder after the t chat text goes off your screen if it disappears. Um, I mean, if you watch back the streams on Twitch, You'll the text thing is on the side, but yeah. There we go. Okay, there we go. Cool. That takes us over to this side of the cliff. Snap seeds. Oh boy. There's like stuff down there, isn't there? Is there anything on this side? Doesn't look it. So let's, I guess, run jump over on this side. Whoa, one too many. One too many. Okay, we kind of caught ourselves there. I don't know if there was anything on that platform, but... Oh. Magnetite. <laughs> Let you believe, okay. Alright, so let's, I guess... Ooh, I hope this isn't... Oh, hey! Uh, an idol. Wasn't expecting to find that here. Maybe this is like leading into like another big section. That'd be really nice. Oh hey, it's uh, what's his face? Oh. Gaki 
ラッパの任務が面倒になってな落ちの試しだ人さらいだ、うん、黒傘の責務だこの寺は何もかも面倒くせえだから抜けたかああさあてとこれで野暮用は済んだ他に当てもねえし、うん、アシナの城にでも戻るとするかねどこだろうがこの寺よりはマシってもんだ、うん、さてとぼちぼちあ分かってるかもしれアシナは今ずいぶん気なくせえことになってるやってくるネズミの数も尋常じゃねえうん、おめえも気をつけなさてとぼちあっ、okay. uh, we probably have to meet him meet up with him again there so let's see what's, what else is over this way Ooh, um. Oh my god. That looks like the fucking snake. Oh my god, we're gonna get like a sick plunging attack on it, aren't we, if we jump down there? Just, oh my god. <laughs> Serpent Viserna? Ra? Viscera? Oh, well, we killed the snake and. <laughs> wow, that was. that was fucking intense. Ow. That. that's super weird. Like, I thought you would have killed it in, like, the other cave. Huh. Where are we? Oh, we're on the other side of that bridge, aren't we? This is like the bridge that it breaks earlier. I know. We we had it like raining blood for a few minutes. Well jeez. I feel a little bit bad. Because I actually think the snake is super cute. It's just that <laughs> it's just that it really like a large portion of this game is spent just like avoiding it. Dragon blood droplet? Statue. Okay. Is there like a way out of here, or is this just like a one, one way path? I guess this is maybe just all there was here. I guess it maybe is just a route so you can go kill the snake, huh? I feel I feel kind of bad, <laughs> but that was it was still pretty cool. <laughs> so we got. I assume it's a key item. Okay, so we have two. I don't even really know why we needed both these, but we got them now, so I guess here we are. And this just circles around, I guess. Huh, well that's cool. Alright, so there's supposed to be a spot near this well. シロビシュならばうん。なぜ?いや、忘れてください。シロビドの音をたどってきたところ。うん。シロ。Let's not do that. もしや心当たりがと思うだが。Maybe. 
So it seems like there's a couple people I could potentially send to um, that surgeon. I don't want to send anybody to that surgeon. I'm positive it's not going to be a good thing. So we won't do that. So supposedly there's like a pit around here that like goes somewhere. Oh, hey, grapple point. Scrap iron. Abandoned dungeon. Interesting. I wouldn't have probably found this if it wasn't for uh Lord Kuro. This place seems cursed. like the background noise in this area. It's very unsettling. Oh! You look like a boss. God. Ah. This is a lot of um, projectiles. Where'd he go? Ooh. Oh, okay. It's like. Oh, there's another status effect. I don't know if it's terror or what it is. Um. It is terror. Oh, great. so terrifying and knocking on my ass. Terror kills you instantly, is what it does. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez, we just got juggled between, like... It's, it's basically frenzy, yeah. Game, game just gives you a heart attack, exactly. Dang. It's never like a close, uh idle to that. Uh, maybe? Aw, oh, cat. No, 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 no. Sweetie, no. Just two seconds. No, no, don't steal my chair. Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, maybe snap seeds. That's actually super good thinking, land shark. I wasn't even thinking of that. Oh, wow, I missed that. Dang, I missed both those. That's a 
good idea about the snap seeds. Actually, I was reading about some of the tools, and apparently, um, the effect of, like, um, like, the snap seed effect for, like, snapping you out of, like, illusions, apparently there's a couple tools that give that. Like, I think, um, if it's, like, the firecrackers can do it. Yeah, I noticed Buddy moved. I, I don't know where he's going, but I guess we'll probably run into him at some point. Try snap seeds, that's a really good idea. But I also know a few tools mention about them being like particularly good against like occultic things, but I don't know if I have any of those tools or if they were just the like later end tools. Let's like grab some of this stuff. Bulging coin purse. Oh there we go, perfect. That's what we want. At least it's not like an aggressive mid boss. Oh, hey, it's what's his face? Oh, Maybe I should have sent him to the surgeon. Oh, かすかに風に乗り あの調べは、わしを呼んでおる。そんな気がするのだ。たどって、あの、どうすれば多い。さよ、では、ここで一人。Big hmm. arch. Get someone else over here. Oh, it's the hag. <laughs> oh, that must be the next area. She didn't ask for rice. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Jump through that Tori. Just do it. Don't think twice. Uh hmm. Wonder how viable it is to sneak up on this guy. Let me think. I'm gonna take a look at my tools, see what I got that like might be useful. Oh, maybe the umbrella. The umbrella might be good. Oh, yep, that looks really promising. So we want the umbrella. And what else we got? Kitty, do you want out? Is that what you want? Here, just two seconds. Okay, let 
let's see. So, oh yeah, and there's this, uh, the finger whistle. And that's only for beasts, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. The umbrella might be our best bet. Because it'll probably cover, um... Because we need something to keep the... <laughs> keep those projectiles off us. And it sounds like that is what will work. Let's see if we can get, like, a back attack on this guy. Nope. As soon as you hit the ground. Oh, my goodness. I have a lot of terror. Also, this is, like, way too loud. If you're in his radius, you build terror too. Not what I wanted to use. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Dodge through them. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, whoa. Eat that. Ow. was a little closer than what I thought it was. Yeah, they don't have anything I can deflect, so I can't really, like, seem... I can't build up anything on this guy. Like, it's just... it's just HP damage, so... And that's the thing, it's like, hmm, I don't know what I should opt for here. I wonder if I can, like, affect this thing with poison. 
The thing is, is like, a little bit of like, when you're playing this that like was initially a tripping point was it was like where's my good moves like where's my good sword moves but like your sword kind of does kind of just like a base damage all the time like it the, you have your like command uh command normals i guess but like they generally don't do a lot of damage they just tend to be more built around the utility of whatever they're gonna do for you Fan of that. Okay, we'll try we'll try poisoning them. Ow. Oh shit! I looked at his health bar. <laughs> That's the first time I've done that. I was like looking up at his health bar, I'm like, my health's fine. Dark Souls like seeping back in. Uh, I might hold off on this guy. Yeah, they, they have like, I think two melee attacks from what it looks. Like, there's just like the staff swing and then there's like a vertical one, I think. But, hmm. I might hold off on this one. I'm not a big fan of fighting, um, fighting this like, sort of like, cursed, <laughs> cursed uh, projectile demon thing. It's gonna be a fall. Oh. Whew. So where do we go from here is the question. Uh, looks like probably over this way. Well, we'll like explore a little bit farther ahead. Yeah, no. Fistful of Ash. Ooh. I see. <laughs> Pretty much. Just instantly, just instantly die. It's like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Like, the thing is, is there's no unblockable attacks from that guy to, like, learn <laughs> to get, like, the posture damage up. But I think he's built around maybe just, like, a hit-and-run strategy. A little bit more Dark Souls in this one. I think the thing is, though, is it's, like, you hit him, but it doesn't necessarily deter him from casting more projectiles at you. Which is, like, uh-oh, that seems like trouble. Hmm. Ooh, almost, almost jump. Okay. Where are we going, though? No, that, okay, that's the very bottom. That must be if you, like, miss the initial, initial hook that you, you climb up from here. So I guess we'll go down through this. Oh. Okay, we got another... This seems like the area, like... <laughs> seems like an area where we're gonna be dealing with, like, curses and shit a lot. It's very quiet. This area or the stream? Machine Depths. Oh, this definitely looks like the game's Blight Town. Look at this. This just looks like it was tore right out of Blight Town. I'm surprised this whole fucking wooden thing didn't just collapse when I landed on it, just to drop me in some poison. Hey, materials. Materials are always good. Whoa, this guy has a cannon. 
Oh my god, okay. Shit! It's the it's fucking snake eyes again. Okay, who who all's shooting at us? Okay, we got Because we gotta take care of these guys first. Because there's no way we can fucking take out snake eyes. Fuck! Take out snake eyes like this. There's a lot of damage. I'm trying to figure out where everyone is here. Is it just Snake Eyes that's shooting at me? I see one guy down there that has a spear. Oh, hey! Another, another idol. I mean, at this point, I should just rest so that it, like, takes snake eyes off my trail. Then I'll go up here and get a backstab on this guy. Uh, snake eyes was that, like... Uh, sub boss that gave me a lot of trouble before. <laughs> Gunpowder. Scrap, uh, magnetite. Oh shit, that's him there. Then who's the guy that's in the center? It's just a cannon guy. I should probably try and take out cannon guy. There we go. Okay. How do we get up there? Oh, fuck. Oh. There's snake eyes. <laughs> that fucking command grab. Go to the center, because I think we can probably fight Snake Eyes better over here. Ooh, okay. Now I gotta think about what was good against this guy. I don't remember there being a whole lot. Oh. Well, I ate that hit. Oh fuck! Don't don't use a fucking command grab just as I'm getting up there. This isn't awful. Seems okay. Ow. Oh shit, he's hitting me and right on top of the head. Ow, shit. That time it actually connected. God damn it! This is just... it's no good. I don't want to fight him on this, like, little fucking plateau. Just, like, come over here. <sighs> fucking snake eyes. Now he walks off. Hmm? I did kill this guy before. And he might have a case of centipedes. It's a strong possibility. 
Oh, shit. I think, I think my healing's low enough that I should consider... Consider just going to the idol and healing. Rather than, like, die and get a bunch of, <laughs> get a bunch of dragon rot. It's okay. So let's, like, work our way around this. We know where all the enemies are, so that'll help with, like, figuring this out. like two or three cannon guys. There we go. Ooh. I don't think there's anyone else. Fuck. Poison. Poison is. It's hard to walk in that. Ooh. Ooh, that was really close. Didn't get a punish on it, but. Okay, that's a good start. Might as well heal. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just square to the chest. <laughs> didn't interrupt that. Oh shit, that little ledge. Oh shit, he caught me that time. Ow. being below him like that. The more rewarding part is that he's dead. <laughs> oh. Hopefully forever. <laughs> he's not actually that bad of a boss, he's just like... 
He's he's very like you have to be very like slow and meticulous with that fight. In the second half he gets very blocky, like his defense game really like is way up there. Yeah, it's it's like kinda cool. I like the fact that like to me like he has just enough going on that like it's it's still engaging, but it's like this time was better than the previous time because like it felt like I was it wasn't like I was whittling away like a giant health bar this time, and that's just because I have more attack power and stuff, but uh, that, that went pretty good. Okay, so... Let's see, what do we got here? Let's, like, just go up here and, like, stealth kill a couple of these guys. Clear this out so I can explore this room just, like, a little bit more. Jeez, that's a lot of experience, actually. 300 is, like, a lot. This is actually really easy. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, there's stuff up there. Yeah, I know. 300s. Um, I know if you're fighting them head-on, it's a little bit tougher, for sure. But... This is like a pretty easy section to get backstabs. I mean, I figured it out almost immediately how to get backstab on every single one of them. So, I mean, that's a good sign. How do we get up there? Is it from this? Probably from here and then... Yeah, that's what I want to grab. Thank you. No, 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 no. There we go. So. No, we can't grab onto that. Maybe it's something we circle around to it. Some kind of tarp thing you might be able to bounce from. I don't think this is a game where you bounce off tarps. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> tarp thing I can bounce off of? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> White's like, what the fuck do you mean? This is basically Aladdin. Aladdin on the Genesis, right? Yeah, I don't think it's too bouncy. The game quickly turned into, like, Mario. <laughs> Ooh, just a big blood splatter. That's never a good sign. Oh, hey. Large ape. That's not a good sign. Large ape. Are we gonna? F that looks a little bit like the ape. Oh my god! I don't want to fight it again. Yep, that that that's our big ape friend, guardian ape. Hey you! I remember you. Oh, right. Don't want to be in the terror radius. Hmm. Oh shit, that's a fucking unblockable. Don't get hit by that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am getting grilled into the wall here. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. We'll switch in. I don't think long spark's gonna matter, and I don't think the spear's gonna matter, but... Um, we'll throw in... Actually, I wonder how the finger's gonna work, because that, that's supposedly good against beasts. I mean, he doesn't have a head, so he probably can't hear this stuff. Uh, we'll do our phantom kunai, though, because that's at least something we can throw while he's, like, roaring. Oh. 
Oh, I see. So he has that in this form. How did this guy get down here? Ow. He actually got me. Oh, oh, fuck. That's the thing I fucking do all the time against this guy. He's gonna roar. I'm gonna throw fucking kunais at him. Which is actually butterflies, because they're super cool. And they do a fucking shit ton of damage. Oh my god. Ow. Okay, well, I found that out at least. I'd say that's probably the correct answer. Staggered. Nope. We're gonna back up from that. Oh, it's a sweep! I've been one. Oh. oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Just like there we go. I guess we probably use a healing pellet. What? Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't need to fight two of these. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's bad. Oh boy. That's that's gonna be really hard. Um I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the first half, and then I'm gonna go like full projectile on the second half, because the projectiles do pretty good damage, so I'm gonna maybe see how that works. I feel like the firecrackers are still probably a good thing, but like, you just don't get to capitalize on them as much, but I guess it's when you'd focus on the other one, so I don't know. Like this is like any double boss fight in Dark Souls, where it's just like, it's like doable, it's just like... There's gonna be moments where you're gonna be kind of fighting, fighting against the fact that like, uh, I guess if you want to get like technical, you're fighting against the fact that the frame data is gonna be really inconsistent. Because sometimes you're gonna have an advantage where you typically have an advantage, and other times you'll have a big disadvantage where you typically have an advantage. There's a grapple point right there. That's definitely a thing. Oh, that was weird. He symbol, but didn't roar. Ooh. Yeah, I forgot about the other half. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I was like really pinned in the corner there. This first half, like, isn't too bad at this point. Like, I feel like I do pretty good damage. Oh. Uh, ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. I just 
wanted to get the spear out so I could try and hit him. Oh my god, really? Oh. Oh my god. I am pinned against the wall. It might be in my interest to actually focus on that one. This like this one I can like run away from, kind of, sort of. Oh. Especially suck because it was such a. Oh, it was a good instance to do some damage, and I fucked it up. Uh, done during the knockdown, so that's probably when you parry that uh, one big hit and he falls down. I'll get ready with it because I suspect if you can get rid of the centipede that's in him, that probably uh, changes his fight dramatically. Oh shit, I just remember I totally have donuts. Oh my god. Yes. Um, it's not that he won't be able to call the other monkey, I think he'll just die in one one thing, ideally. I mean, it's hard to say, because he has two, two health bars, so... Alright, so when we jumped, there was like a catch point. Oh, okay, that didn't really do anything for us, but that's okay. There it is. Oh shit. That was... That was bait. Oh fuck, fuck. I'm like caught on his like legs. Well, like ended this portion of the fight a little bit faster, I think, because it looked like... I think you're right, Landshark, I think it does, like, a lot of posture damage. Okay, let's focus on this other one. 
Ow, fuck. Oh my god! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. Mm. What? Um, I'd like to target the other one. Thank you. going for Um, okay, just not gonna throw projectiles. This is good damage, so I mean, there is that going for it. I don't like how I'm getting like shaky cam right now. On slide. Come for that slide. That was exactly what I was talking about a moment ago. Where one can kind of lock you into uh, the... You block a hit, but it puts you in the terror radius. Fuck. We're so close. To see. If we can get it down to one, we're gonna be gold. Oh. I definitely think the projectiles were... Uh, I think they worked. I think that was a good idea. Um, hitting with the spear in the first form does a lot of posture damage, but I don't think it's worth spending my uh, energy on that. Just because like the first form isn't really the problem, it's the second form. I need to get through... <laughs> I need to get through one of these monkeys ASAP, ideally. If honestly I had a little bit more uh, more uh, energy, I'd probably be in better shape, but I don't. But that's okay. So I definitely think the projectiles are working, though. Oh, that's not what I wanted to use. Oh, 
Oh shit. Right, gotta remember there's more to it. Ooh, I thought he was gonna scream for sure. Should have done there. Oh, that's not good. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta, we gotta get out of there. Oh fuck! These walls! Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's aggravating. Yeah, that. Thanks, thanks. Oh fuck, herbs. Yep, that checks out. <laughs> These walls. God damn it, it's the same fucking spot every time. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. Gotta avoid running into that section. <sighs> the camera just likes to like catch on that one little like section there, and when it does that, it's like <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna eat a hit. Like there's no question. I mean, it might be an optional boss fight, but they also told me to come down here for story-related reasons, and yeah, <laughs> like, if it's an optional boss fight, it's very much, like, right in the line of where I was going, so... Like, I don't see any other, like, route. Like, there's this one spot over here, but you can't reach it, so... It's like... I don't know what they're expecting from me. Like, I might be able to grab that, but I think it would just be, like, fluky if I grab it. I just wish I had a tiny bit more uh, 
I have a bit more spirit, because like if I had more spirit, I'd totally be um, able to. Able to just probably take out one of them with projectiles. I mean, geez, like every path down here kind of leads this way. It's so weird, though, that they'd have like sort of a. Um, I don't want to say a repeat boss fight, but like, um, another boss fight with the Great Ape, like, sort of back-to-back. -back. I mean, like, it's open-ended, so like, not everybody's gonna do this back-to-back, -back, obviously, but... To be fair, I do think, like, this is... Ooh, wow, that was really close. Kind of, kind of a redux fight. There we go. Like, the thing is, is like at least the first form ain't too tough, which is great. But Thank you, dash in. Thank you, neutral dodge. Thank you for going in. <laughs> like, that's literally the worst direction it could go by default. Another one has me pinned in the corner. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, fuck.
ship. That's Ow. <laughs> on this fucking corner again. Gosh damn. Ugh. It's like... God. It's so hard, because, like, you get into that one spot, and not only is your camera, like, kind of bunged up, but you're also, like... You get hooked into this little edge really easily. That one definitely felt a little bit better though, because I feel like what was happening was I was doing... I was definitely playing defensive, which was good. And I think the right way to approach it. So like, being defensive definitely helped. And just kind of picking like, one combo on each thing that I could punish consistently. And just taking like the smallest punish I could. Like it was slowly like whittling them down. But it was like still I would would I'd like to be a little bit closer on taking out the original uh, original Guardian Ape. Cause I think like the other one won't be too much trouble by itself, but it's just like What? What? Um, I have no idea what happened there. Mm. I couldn't seem to run out. There's a skill that reduces terror damage, but that's totally a thing. This spot kind of weirds me out. Like it's strange that this is here. Like you'd think that like there would be uh, some reason to. That one got me. Mm. So that's what it initially felt like, but I don't think I don't think so.
let's just get rid of the mine. I think that's maybe something I need to keep in mind. Is sometimes I need to spend that like the punish on getting my footing. Which is like legit. That's like a very dark soulsy thing. I mean this really is kind of a very dark soulsy boss, because it's not like it's not like you're usually beating him via posture damage. I mean, you do sometimes, but it's like, for the most part, it's like... There we go. Oh shit, I was not expecting to open with a sweep. Let's back up. Oh, whoa. That was pretty good, actually. Oh shit! Terror! Oh my god. He got stuck in the corner that I got stuck in. <laughs> Oh jeez, jumped in on the fucking sweep, that thing that I had stopped doing for like a little bit and I decided I guess I'd do it now. Come on, slide. Slide, I know you want to. There we go. We have one down. Okay. Oh, the other one just pieces out. Oh. Headless ape. Kirby. Kirby. Oh, wow. I'm very surprised that they don't have you beat them both. Wow. Huh. Well, it's good to know then that you only have to focus on one of them. Uh, so, get a little bit more health. Fifth, 
fifth uh, prayer necklace. Increase our attack power a little bit more. And rest up. Hey, we did it. I mean, the last couple were pretty close, but it was something that I think the big thing was was just being more patient and more defensive. Uh, that one I didn't really do, like, attack the other one too much, but, uh, I mean, I got all my projectiles in on the, um, the original one, so, like, that seemed to help, seemed to make a little bit of a difference. Well, okay, so we did it. Let's see what's up here.